Hi guys, I am RS Rashmika of class 8. I am studying in Amrita Vidyalayam Trichy. Hi, Mr. Micro. Good morning, dear. Wake up soon. It is already 8 o'clock. Hmm. Good morning, ma. Now go do your daily chores, Riya. Ma, I have finished my daily routines. Okay, then come and drink some milk. What? Milk? No way, ma. Always you are giving me milk only by saying that you will give me chocolate milkshake the next day. But today I won't drink the milk. Hmm. Oh ho. Okay, then have your breakfast at least. Okay ma, sure. But what is the breakfast? What else? Idli and sambar only. Come and have it. Ma, come on ma. Am I a grandma to eat idlis and sambar daily? Please ma, I won't eat idli. I want pizza, 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 pizza. What is this pretty? Why can't you give her what she likes? Yes, now if you also pamper and support her like this, what will she do else than this? I'll do as per your wish. Whatever I say to her, it never ever penetrates into her mind. She always likes junk foods only. What to do? I have to make her eat. So there is no other go other than ordering pizza. When is she going to change? Ria, I have kept the pizza in the kitchen. Go and have it quickly. I am going to leave to my office. Bye dear. Go to school on time. Okay? Thank you dad. Okay ma. Thank you my dear ma. You are the most beautiful and best mother in the world ma. <laughs> now I got what I needed. Ria, this is not right. It is not good for your health to eat junk foods. Thank you my dear grandma for your advice. But now I am not going to listen to you. Sorry. But the taste wasn't as good as before. But anyway, I had my pizza. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why my stomach is paining a lot. It is terribly paining. <sighs> now what will happen? I'll be taken to a doctor. He'll give me tons and tons of advices and medicines. <sighs> but... I can put leave by having this as a reason. What happened dear? Why are you looking so dull? That is, um, that is I ate pizza right? After that my stomach is aching a lot grandma. I feel like vomiting again and again. Anyway, today because of that pizza you are not going to the school. Am I right? Go, take rest. Granny, Granny, the stomach is paining a lot. Please take me to the doctor. Please, 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 please. Hey, are you acting? I won't believe you. No, Granny, really it is paining a lot. Let's go to the doctor. Okay, okay, okay. I believe in you. Come, let's go to the doctor immediately. Doctor, she is my granddaughter. She is saying that her stomach is paining a lot and she also vomited continuously. Oh, is it? Okay. Now, what's your name, buddy? My name is Ria. Okay, Ria. Now, answer the questions which I ask. What did you eat before your stomach started hurting? Mm, doctor, doctor, I ate um, pizza. Oh, that is it. What a great tiffin you have had. Did you prepare it in home or you bought it from a shop? 
We bought it, doctor. Was the pizza hot? No, doctor. Was it smelly? Actually, doctor, as I ate it in a hurry, I did not even notice its smell or taste. Doctor, her test reports have come. Okay, okay, relax, Ria. I'll check with the reports and I'll inform you about what you are going through. Okay, I figured out what the problem is. The problem is you have bought a food from outside. You don't know how it was cooked, packed, and delivered. And also, you cannot figure out when they cooked it. Ria, today many people are doing this mistake. That is, when we order a particular food from outside, we should be very careful about the time when it was made. Because if the food was done a very long time before when you eat it, then some microbial growth may be seen. That microbial growth has resulted in food poisoning which you are going through now. What is microbial reaction? Who causes it? The organisms which cause microbial reaction are called microorganisms or microbes. Microorganisms are classified into four major groups. They are bacteria, fungi, protozoa and some algae. Now take for example, when you go to the school you have your lunch in the afternoon, right? After coming to home you forgot to clear up the lunch box and wash it. Around 10 pm in night, you are clearing up the lunch box and washing it. Will it be smelly or will it smell good? Yuck, it stinks. Yes, you are right. This is because of the microbial reaction which takes place in the food. Let's take another example. Do you know how milk is made into curd? Um, doctor, my mother used to pour some of the curd which is already in our home into the milk. Um, then the next day when I open the box it turns into curd. Oh, is it so? Let me explain what actually happens. Milk is converted into curd with the help of the bacteria called lactobacillus by the process of fermentation. Microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances. These make the food poisonous, causing serious illness and even death. So, it is very important that we preserve food to prevent it from being spoiled. Hmm, <laughs> I hate microorganisms. They are too bad. No, Ria, you should not say like that. There are friendly microbes too. Microbes are the main reason for the breaking down of organic wastes into manure and they play a major role in increasing the soil fertility. They are used in the production of penicillin. Can't we prevent its growth in our food doctor? There are various ways to prevent the growth of microbes in the food we eat. They are preservation by chemical methods, salt, sugar, oil and vinegar, heat and cold treatments and storage and packing. The heat and cold treatments means the heating or lowering the temperature of the food item to the extreme. You must have observed your mother boiling milk before it is stored or used. Boiling kills many microorganisms. Similarly, we keep our food in the refrigerator which lowers the temperature and inhibits the growth of microbes. This process was discovered by Louis Pasteur and the process is named as pasteurization. Oh my god, even good bacteria are there? Then what are the problems with microbes doctor? Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings, plants and animals. Such disease causing microorganisms are called Pathogens. Some microorganisms spoil food, clothing and leather. Pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe, the water we drink or the food we eat. They can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carried by an animal. Microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or physical contact are called communicable diseases. 
communicable diseases which means the diseases which can spread can you give some examples doctor examples of such diseases include cholera common cold chickenpox and tuberculosis when a person suffering from common cold sneezes fine droplets carrying thousands of viruses are spread in the air the virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing and cause infection oh this is how corona would have also worked right doctor yes of course doctor but i have a doubt about how pathogens are getting transferred from one object to another i will clear the doubt there are some insects and animals which act as carriers of disease causing microbes house fly is one such carrier the flies sit on garbage and animal excreta pathogens stick to their bodies when these flies sit on uncovered foods they may transfer the pathogens whoever eats the contaminated food is likely to get sick so it is advisable to keep the food covered always avoid consuming uncovered items of food another example of a carrier is the female anopheles mosquito which carries the parasite of malaria that is a kind of microbe which is a protozoan plasmodium female aedes mosquito which acts as a carrier of dengue virus how to prevent the mosquitoes from affecting us doctor mosquitoes breed in water hence one should not let water collect anywhere such as in coolers tires flower pots etc by keeping the surroundings clean and dry we can prevent mosquitoes from breeding oh okay doctor doctor as you said before many riya it has been time since you came here first get the medicine and take rest after one week we will meet okay okay doctor but i need to ask you a question whatever the question may be you should not ask today you should ask the question only in our next meeting okay then only i will know whether you are thinking about this or you didn't even touch this in your memory okay okay doctor bye bye doctor we will meet you again after one week Hi Ria, how are you feeling now? Hi doctor, I am feeling very good. Thank you doctor. She recovered very quickly because of the medicine which you have prescribed to her. <laughs> um thank you ma'am. It is actually my duty to do it. Ria, you told that you wanted to ask me a question, right? What was it? Yes doctor. Actually I was about to ask that How the medicine which you prescribe will be working inside my body? Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, see, whenever you are not feeling well, the doctor may advise you to take antibiotics. The source of the antibiotics are microorganisms. The antibiotics restrict the growth of the disease-causing bacteria. For example, there are many antibiotics made from bacteria and fungi, such as streptomycin and erythromycin. Doctor. You're such a great person. Why, Ria? Doctor, actually, on the day I didn't go to school by saying the stomach ache as a reason because I had a science test on the topic related to microbes. I did not even attend one class of that lesson in the class, doctor. So I was afraid how to write the test. But now I'm feeling that I was attending a whole science class in your clinic, doctor. and also i am now even ready to take a seminar on the topic doctor before the most disliked subject by me was science but now my favorite subject is science thank you doctor you naughty girl if you really like to study science then you should apply it in your daily life okay so eat a balanced diet follow healthy habits do physical activities avoid junk foods okay yes doctor sure bye 
Bye Riya. Thank you doctor. Thank you for watching.